This is just a sample of the audiobook. To get the complete audiobook access the link posted in the first comment. A captive greets thee, coming from a house of bondage, from yon city's walls set free, a prison where he hath been long immured. Now I am free, enfranchised and at large, they fix my habitation where I will. What dwelling shall receive me? In what vale shall be my harbour? Underneath what grove shall I take up my home, and what sweet stream shall with its murmurs lull me to my rest? The earth is all before me. With a heart joyous, nor scared at its own liberty, I look about, and should the guide I choose be nothing better than a wandering cloud, I cannot miss my way. I breathe again. Trances of thought and mountings of the mind come fast upon me. It is shaken off as by miraculous gift. Tis shaken off that burthen of my own unnatural self. The heavy weight of many a weary day, not mine, and such as were not made for me. Long months of peace, if such bold word accord with any promises of human life. Long months of ease and undisturbed delight are mine in prospect. Whither shall I turn? By road or pathway or through open field, or shall a twig or any floating thing upon the river point me out my course? Enough that I am free. For months to come may dedicate myself to chosen tasks, may quit the tiresome sea and dwell on shore, if not a settler on the soil, at least to drink wild water and to pluck green herbs and gather fruits fresh from their native tree. Nay more, if I may trust myself, this hour hath brought a gift that consecrates my joy. For I methought, while the sweet breath of heaven was blowing on my body, felt within a corresponding, mild, creative breeze, a vital breeze which travelled gently on or things which it had made, and is become a tempest, a redundant energy vexing its own creation. It is a power that does not come unrecognised, a storm which, breaking up a long-continued frost, brings with it vernal promises, the hope of active days, of dignity and thought, of prowess in an honourable field, pure passions, virtue, knowledge and delight, the holy life of music and of verse.